the whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got new Ultimate Legends in the game. I do have to say after playing the Madden 22 beta for the last couple of days, coming back over your Madden 21, it feels a little bit weird. Like it definitely feels a little bit weird. I don't know what it is about it because obviously like playing something new like that like there's actually an ultimate team game mode even in the beta and being able to come over here to this it uh feels a little bit weird and i think that with all of the madden 22 news that is already out there as well as all the madden 22 news that we will be getting i will admit that for the next you know month or so guys i'm not really sure how many madden 21 related videos i will be putting out obviously any new content i'm definitely doing pack and plays those are always going to be at least on sunday you know i'm gonna maybe put out two a week if i can do that but it really just comes down to man 22 obviously that is a priority for me is to update you guys on the new game so Definitely expect to see a lot of Madden 22 related videos, obviously any news that's dropping, stuff that I would like to see in the game. I'm going to be talking about the beta uh, next week. We even get like the yard in the beta and uh, Superstar KO, I believe as well. So definitely playing that, dropping some stuff like that for you guys. So just know you're probably going to see a lot of Madden 22 related videos from here on out. In terms of Madden 21, like gameplays and stuff, if there's like some really specific gameplay I want to do like today... No, definitely not with the old one I just came out today. I do have a Madden 22 related video for you guys later today though. I actually went through and I have compiled all of the stadium X factors and like momentum shift things in there. So expect that later today. It took me a long time to get all those. Now we do have the new ultimate legends in the game today though. We have Rod Woodson, Jim Brown, and LTD Devin Hester. I know that Devin Hester was not ever a great receiver in the NFL and that the card is really only meant to be used as a returner with good speed whatever but my issue isn't necessarily with the stats of the card because obviously I don't expect the card to be amazing as a receiver my issue is the timing the EA released the card if they knew that card was going to look like that and I'll show you guys the stats when he hits the auction block here he should have been one of the first ULs released I feel like so that way he's actually usable because right now just taking a look at the card I mean I unless you're a Bears fan a Seahawks fan there's one other theme team I know uh, the Falcons I think unless you're a fan of one of those teams I just don't see why you would ever get the card as you get 97 Walter Jones in round number one of this UL fantasy pack it's actually really good there round two we get a 90 overall junior say out at 86 and round three we get double rings in this pack 99 Calvin Johnson wow okay I have to say, this is probably the best UL fantasy pack I've opened all year. Not only do we get a 99 Calvin Johnson, but in round one, we get a 97 overall Walter Jones. That's like, that's definitely the best UL fantasy pack I have opened all year long right there. And we also get my daily quick sale. I guess I didn't actually open a pack, but I did play the uh, two games today. I thought I got my daily quicks over here. So, okay, that was really good that was really really good we'll do one more ul fantasy pack here if it's good like that i'll definitely do another one but otherwise we're gonna do some training varieties here round number two 85 coin quick sell david de castro what is going on and rings okay and it's a 95 Derek thomas i mean again a really good pack One hundred and ten thousand coin quick sell i mean at this point though we ate like cut the packs in half cut the packs in half we absolutely need these packs to be half priced packs final pack here unless unless uh i mean we get more crazy pulls we get an 87 overall kyle rudolph 93 baker okay and rings again round number three 97 Corey dylan why are these packs seeming so good like i know this one here with the 97 and the 93 wasn't super crazy but I'll do one more. I'm going to do one more UL Fantasy because they seem to be pretty good for some reason. We get an 87 Khalil Mack right there. We go with him, the 84 and 82. This is where they're going to get me, right? No? Coin Quick Sell, 81. Okay, so not not uh, super crazy, but you know we'll take it. An 85 Derek Brown, 
and we finally do not get ringed. So that is going to be it for the UL Fantasy Packs right there. But, I mean, we got an even overall coin quick sell. And to be honest, those were pretty solid packs. I mean, a 99 and a 97 overall pull. Definitely my best UL Fantasy Pack, I will say, all year long. Now, as I said, I'm not sure how many more Madden 21 related videos there will be. But pack and play, yes. Uh... Also, I'm definitely going to be doing Mutt Bingo still with Dom. I know we want to do like a throwback Mutt Bingo though, so we're probably going to work on one of those. You guys will probably see a throwback Mutt Bingo at some point. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded a No Money Spent video in a little bit. That's just because of everything that's been going on with Madden 22. Of course, you know, I, I did move in here, been still doing things over here. And as I told you guys, this is not my permanent office setup. The new office that I will be using should be hopefully all good and i will be in that new office area i think like next week i think at the start of next week like within like three or four days hopefully i should be all in the office area maybe even sooner maybe like two three days whatever but you guys will finally see the permanent office and i'm very 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 excited for it i mean i'm 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 really really excited if you guys follow me over on twitter maybe you saw a little bit of a uh a sneak peek of something that's going to be in the office i'm very excited for you guys to see it and uh yeah I'm, I'm just excited for madden 22 man i'm very very excited for madden 22 everything that's gonna be with it honestly playing the beta a lot of people are saying that it feels a lot like madden 21 next gen i think there's some slight differences there's definitely some slight differences and the gameplay it does feel a little bit faster definitely feels a little bit faster than next gen of madden 21 which is good and i feel I've kind of been enjoying it i do know that obviously like with it being the beta deep zones are like completely broken so if you play like the play now people can just chuck streaks to tyree kill they already said that the deep the deep zones are like completely broken right now so they're going to fix that obviously before the game does drop it was the same way last year with the beta deep zones are always for some reason just broken in the madden betas it, it just is what it is but i have a lot of hope for madden 22 and hopefully it's not false hope i was really excited for madden 21 but it seems like there are a decent amount of new changes to the game with the momentum and everything like that i think it's a really cool feature obviously it looks like they put a lot of work into franchise so it seems like stuff that maybe we've been asking for they actually did go ahead and pay attention especially with the franchise stuff it seems like there is a ton of new franchise stuff gameplay is faster moving there's some changes to ultimate team that we can already see like with those strategy cards and everything which we don't know everything that's an ultimate team obviously but hopefully a, uh, a lot of good stuff but i'm excited but let's go ahead and hit the auction house here let's take a look at these new ultimate legends and we'll see exactly what they're actually going for i don't think they're really gonna be that expensive once the price actually settles on them i just I just don't think they're really gonna be uh how much is that calvin johnson that i just put he's gonna be what like 200 something k where's he at so 250k right there calvin johnson and we get a 97 overall yeah that was a really really good pack now it looks like the new uls i don't think they're up yet so here is ultimate legend jim brown he's got 96 speed and 96 excel so powered up his printer 99 speed 99 excel cool Karen will be a 99 powered up change direction will be a 93 trucking and brake tackle already a 99 so a really good like big trucking back but he also does have 92 juke move a uh, 98 stiff arm so really good stiff arm there catching he's got 73 route running i'm guessing probably not too good yeah definitely not too good at route running so i mean it's a pretty decent card it's it's nothing crazy definitely nothing crazy at all there with the jim brown big trucking back though if you like jim brown cards looks like devin hester actually is still not up kind of surprising because that's the ltd and also looks like the corner is not up rod woodson so i'm going to show you guys their stats so here is devin hester 99 speed and 99 excel and as you guys can see he's only got 82 catching traffic 87 catching 91 short 89 medium 95 deep route running with 90 spectacular catch but after the catch course he's incredible 99 juke 98 spin 99 change of direction 99 break tackle and 90 carrying and of course he cannot run block at all with a 30 run block there as i said this is probably what you expect a devin hester card to look like my issue isn't what the card looks like it's when he actually got put out it actually looks like he was on the ravens as well there uh for theme teams didn't realize he was on the ravens there so devin hester 
if he was put out, you know, a month and a half ago, two months ago with these stats, maybe people use him. I think at this point, unless you're rocking like a theme team, you probably won't use him. I mean, maybe you want to pick him up, throw him in a Wildcat just for fun with Devin Hester, but to actually have him out there at wide receiver, definitely not what you want to do. And as for Rod Woodson, you guys can see 97 speed and 97 excel, 97 change direction, 98 play rec, 94 jumping. Uh, he does also have 96 zone, 98 man, 95 press with 88 catching. Also have 90 hit power with 79 block shed. So at all the ULs, in my opinion, I think Rod Woodson is the most usable, the best one out of them all because Rod actually looks really good. That being said, guys, those are the new Ultimate Legends for today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like the video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. As I said, I will be having another Madden 22-related video later today, going over the X-Factors and momentum, stuff like that, for every single stadium. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.